On deck for you in our MLB coverage, it's going to be the New York Yankees as they take on the Chicago White Sox at U.S. Cellular Field. It's a 2K Sports presentation straight ahead. It's all about the American League. The Chicago White Sox, they're looking to get one in front of their home fans. We'll see Paul Konerko looking to deliver some of those long balls in this game. Happy to be with you. Our broadcast of 2K Sports Major League Baseball. And the starting pitcher will be Gavin Floyd. Steve, what do you think his strategy is going to be against this Yankees lineup? Well, for Gavin Floyd, it's all about working the at-bat to get to a count where he can throw his breaking pitch to get a hitter to chase it. Now well, here's the uh, lineup in the books for Joe Girardi. Scouting pick, John, who are we uh, looking at today? Well, whether drawing a walk or beating out a chopper, Ichiro can give you so much at the top of the order. A guy who can ignite an offense just by hitting a hundred hopper up the middle to get into the outfield because you know he can steal bases and he's play ball. Lead off hitter, Derek Jeter to get us started. Shortstop number two, Derek Jeter. At the belt, Floyd kicks and throws. He makes contact, line drive. And it's caught by Ramirez. This ball is absolutely scorched at the shortstop. He doesn't even have to move to get the out. And Nick Swisher will dig in here with one away. So guys, the Yankees' last five trips to the postseason, they've met a central division opponent in the first round every time. Obviously, last year, they matched up with the Tigers team that beat up on them. There's a ground ball. Ramirez. You're out number two. The series the Yankees have had against the Central Division teams, not good. Detroit beat them 06, Cleveland 07, and of course John Detroit again last year. Yeah, but the Yankees have had plenty of success against the Central Division in the regular season, though, over those few years. It was the same story in 2011 when they beat Central teams 22 out of 36 times. And a ground ball to the Euclid. Oh. Throws on the first side is retired. Three up, three down for Gavin Floyd. He gets through the first inning without allowing a hit. And the White Sox, their first chance is coming. Now batting for the Chicago. Freddie Garcia is going to be pitching. Number New York's got him starting in this one. And he gets going Wide. against these White Sox hitters. What do you think's in store? You know, it's actually because of injuries, Freddie Garcia's had to reinvent his Strike style. One. It used to be power fastball. Now it's two seam fastballs and sequencing his pitches and using his off speed stuff effectively. Here's the pitch. Oh, he can't two. connect with that off speed pitch. They're going to hold now 0 oh 2. Well, now that he's ahead in the count here, Gary, I think he's going to utilize that changeup to try to get a swing and a miss. Swing and a miss on the slider, one out. Well, a great job getting an 0-2. That third pitch, unhittable. Guess he figured why waste the pitch, save the arm. He did. Nice job. Let's uh, show you the lineup for the White Sox. Any of these bats stand out, John? Well, Paul Canerco stands out to me for... We know what he can do on the field. He's a power guy. He's a 100 RBI guy. He's a plus first baseman. But what I like about Paul Canerco is his leadership. He's the guy on the team that when things are going their toughest, they look to Paul Canerco to come through. More often than not, he produces. Garcia gets set and delivers. Paints the lower outside corner. Call strike one. Well, once again, Kevin Euclid's missing time in 2011. And you have to start wondering if he'll ever be able to play a full season again or if you're just going to have to live with the games you do get from him. Strike, Strike two. two. No balls. Two strikes. Euclid's a dangerous 0-2 hitter, though. In talking about Euclid's battling a sports hernia, it had the impact in the, the previous year, and you got to believe maybe it's a factor in the future. Well, hopefully he gets that thing taken care of and he can have another productive season in 2012 because when he's right, he can put up some big numbers for his team. Here's the four-seam fastball coming at you in K-Cam. Get a better look. And the Yankees in the field. Here's a look at their defense. John, uh, keeping an eye on anyone? 
Well, the unquestioned leader of this ball club, Derek Jeter, he's the guy you got to look at. Look, he's aged. Yes, he's lost some range. But what he makes up with his lack of range, he now makes up with intelligence. Knowing his pitchers and knowing their hitters, he positions himself spectacularly in the game. That's why you rarely see him out of position. Strike Big one. cut at that one, and he missed it. One strike. That's a strike, and it's 0-2. Now Dunn will have to be very protective. I don't think he's going to waste any time right now. He's just going to go right at him with that 0-2 pitch. You're out. And strike three. Adam Dunn swinging right through that. He's gone packing. And they're unable to make any noise here in this half inning. Still scoreless in Chicago. For the New York game. Well, we're trying to keep warm. Very crisp, chilly afternoon. Players needing just a bit longer to get warmed up today. And this Mark Teixeira now. 273, the lifetime number on Gavin Floor. It's strike one. Can't make contact on the fastball. Teixeira, ground ball. Fielded by Ramirez. And that'll set down Teixeira. Number 14, Curtis Granderson. And here's Curtis Granderson. Surprisingly, the White Sox had a much better road record than they did at U.S. Cellular Field a year ago. They were the only team in the AL that could claim that distinction. Popped into foul territory down the left side. And Euclid pulls it in. The White Sox record at home, losing wise, only the second time since the turn of the century they have had a losing record at home. Those 45 losses, the most ever for a Sox team in the history of this ballpark. You have to go back even a lot further to find that many losses in any season. That one goes foul. Oh! With that strike, Floyd is out in front now, 0-2. Well, he's a very defensive hitter when the count gets to 0-2, so I'm going to try to get him to chase something out of the zone. One Big breaking two. ball misses, 1-2. and two. He delivers. Ball lifted high in the air, deep down the right field line. You're not going to see that one again. Home run, the Yankees are on the board. And the first run of the ball game. Wow, it comes with a solo home run and a 1-0 lead. Okay, the Yankees the getting New the York job game. done here offensively, doing what they need to do. Number 27, Raul Ibanez. Back up the middle, and that's a base hit. Ibanez on board. Coming that's going to bring Ichiro up. Well, real right. solid Here's approach, it. trying to Number work gap to gap up the middle of Ichiro. the field. Gets a fastball on the outer third of the plate, but able to stay on it and get himself a base hit to center. At the belt, Floyd kicks and throws. This one's pretty well hit to deep left center. That's caught. Side is retired. A strike here in the second, getting a run across. The Yankees are in front, one to nothing. And for those of you catching up with us, hi, I'm Gary Thorne, along with John Crook and Steve Phillips, bringing you Major League Baseball here on 2K Sports. And it's Paul Canerco now. Strike one! Garcia gets it by him. Well, purpose pitch right there. He gets the strike on it, goes up and in, and it opens up the entire strike zone now. Strike two! Strike two no balls and two strikes. Canerco now will look to tighten up that zone. You're 
And Paul Canerco strikes out, could not make contact. 79 on the gun. And look at the break on that pitch on KK. Rios. Well, he made it look easy right there. Slicing and dicing, just attacking the strike zone. Three pitches, all for strikes, sit down. Here's Alex Rios now. On as great a first year as Alex Rios had in his first season with the White Sox, that's how bad his numbers were in 2011. An unbelievably terrible season for a guy you thought was back up on the rise. That's a strike, and it's 0-2. Time for Rios now to protect. Alex Rios has really got to rebound. He, he had the numbers go down and actually lost his job. He's got to find a way back. Well, 2011 is going to be a year that he wants to forget. He came on a little bit at the end, but he needs to put it all back together again because he has the ability to hit for power and hand speed. A really nice sequence right there. He had good rhythm, three great pitches in a row, and sits him down. Hitter never got a chance to get his balance, get his at-bat going there, John. Well, he just didn't look good right there in the batter's box. He needs to take a better defensive approach to extend the at-bat a little longer. It's going to be Przinski, a career 268 hitter against the Yankees. And a swing and a miss on Garcia's delivery. The pitch. And that's a strike. A.J. Pruszynski now behind on the count. Defensive stance at the plate. Now he struggles with the changeup with two strikes, Gary. I'm going to pull the string right here. Changeup swung on and missed. That will retire the side. And they go quietly offensively in this half inning. Nothing across. The White Sox still hoping to put something up.